I've been keeping an eye on Rust as an upcoming programming language and have seen it reach many areas I didn't expect. But what shocked me the most was game development. This is Velerin, the most impressive game I've seen written in Rust, where developers have created their own engine from scratch using the language. It is entirely community driven, open source and free, both as in price and as in freedom with a GPL license. It is still an early development or pre-alpha development with many new features yet to be added. Because of this, it's not yet available on Steam until the developers feel there's enough content. Currently, the world is super massive, yet feels a bit empty at the same time. If it were released as is, many Steam users would be disappointed, which would leave a lasting negative impression. As a wise man once said, delay is temporary, suck is forever. The game started as a fan-made open source clone of Cube World in 2018. This was a game where many were excited about years ago that was infamous for its huge disappointment and lack of features, where people spent $20 and received a half-completed shell of a game. Veleran's future, on the other hand, seems promising, with constant new updates and a large community of volunteer developers. And even though it started as a clone of another game, it's evolved on its own and now having its own vision as an action RPG set in a fantasy world. Although arbitrary building and destruction such as in Minecraft are not intended as a primary feature of the game, there is some limited in-game building with admin commands and permissions. There is also some destruction in the form of mining ore chunks and certain kinds of rocks with a pickaxe. Free building like in some sandboxes is not intended as it would affect the RPG element of the game. Although they have mentioned you may be able to build with your own house or a town with pre-made assets. Later on when selecting a scepter as a starting weapon, there is some destruction elements I didn't realize. You can see here I'm able to destroy and burn up parts of these trees. The glider you see is inspired by Breath of the Wild, which is by far my favorite part of the game. Besides flying around with the glider, climbing is a central part of the game, which depletes your stamina. You can roll around by clicking the mouse wheel, which allows you to travel a little bit faster. This also allows you to sidestep to dodge in battle. If you have a melee weapon, you can block with alt, and parry if the timing is just right. Enemies drop plenty of resources, as well as things you can collect by hand, such as rocks and twigs. In a crafting station of a village, you can create better weapons and armor to progress. To learn more about different items and things you can craft, the wiki is very helpful. Concerning the technical side of things, I'm excited to see Rust, as a memory safe and high performance language, prove its utility in the game development world. Common problems with C and C++ include uninitialized variables, which Rust does not allow. Likewise, manually allocating memory with malloc and free runs the risk of use after free bugs. This is not a problem with Rust's approach to memory management based on ownership and borrowing. Like the Bevy game engine, instead of a traditional object-oriented design with a hierarchy of classes with inheritance, the architectural pattern used in Velerin is an ECS, or Entity Component System. This is basically a design pattern optimized for modern CPUs where data is stored closer to where the CPU cache can readily access it. This maximizes cache locality and overall performance. And I can tell you the performance is impressive. What I like most is that you can zoom out really far, and there are still no choppy frames or dull performance. Since I'm in single player mode, I can use admin commands to change the day and night as well. In this footage, I'm in spectator mode and just flying around, and you can get a sense of how big the world really is. I've teleported using the go to command specifying a set of grid coordinates. You can see here as I descend that the render distance is pretty good. If you like this video, consider liking and subscribing to support the channel. And if you want to try out Velerin, you can download the official game launcher that works cross-platform, with fairly low minimum hardware requirements. That's all, and thanks for watching.